You're listening to Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the official podcast of Lingerie Fighting Championships. And now, here's your host, Michael Lutkin! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 200th episode of the LFC podcast. My name is Mike Larkin, and folks, what a better way to set in 200 episodes of this podcast with the press herself, the one and only Holly, the Lotus Bay. Hello, Holly. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. First and foremost, Prez, it is always a pleasure and a privilege. It's great to have you back on the video side of the podcast for this one. A lot of stuff has been going down in the world of LFC, coming off of LFC 37, back to the mansion. Oh, my goodness, Sapphire Gentlemen's Club. What an amazing venue and what a night that was, right? Yes, it was. um, uh, Drama, of course, as always, (laughs) but we got through it. So I'm glad that, you know, they still want us to be back. (laughs) I mean, I look at it from a stance, too, as well. Unfortunately, Audrey the Mongoose Monique was not the coach of the blue team. You, you're, First of all, you do all the stuff from whether it be just from the being the prez, being a fighter, now being the coach of the blue team, the healthy male team going into that. Talk about yep. the coaching side of things, because you guys did very well at LFC 37. Um, yeah, we actually did good. Um, it was a little different, but you know me. I just adapt and <laughs> deal with deal with things as it comes my way. So, but it was fun. I mean, there was a few times that I forgot that I was coaching because I got so caught up in the actual, you know, matches, but, um, but it was good. (laughs) Well, here's the funny part about it. And here's where we can, you can have a little fun with this because you and Joel Kane have had an immense history here in lingerie (laughs) fighting championship. So you can officially say with the opening bout being Ziva Faye being the one who was on the blue team, the healthy male team against his fighter, Ruby the Booty Bouton in pink, which was 45 seconds. So you can hold that over him now after that bucket of pucks from back in the day now, right? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. He, he, man, I still want to say a lot of shit to him, but, (laughs) (laughs) but I'm going to, you know, keep this nice and friendly meeting. (laughs) All right. Well, for those who have not checked out the immense history between Jolene and the one and only Javi Lillard of May here, it's an amazing rivalry. It's an amazing past here in LFC history. But now you are the prez doing your thing thing. And I got to say, first and foremost, on this front as well, it was so great back at LFC 32 Black and Blue first to see you step out of that role as a prez because you haven't fought since LFC 23 against Andrea the Storm Bladoy. You got in there with Jolene after that history from LFC 27, sexy, nerdy, inked, and curvy. And it was great to see you back in Sturgis at doing your thing back in 2021 it was great to see you back in action I I mean it was good to be back um I I wish there were other you know terms I would have been back to fight but it was just one of those that I had to get back in there just to shut it off so you know it was just one of those like I had to (laughs) You know, I I got so tired of the drama and the back and forth bullshit that, you know, I I had to just do it. And the only way to shut her up was to get back in there. So now it's over. I mean, I look at it from a stance, too, as well. There was a lot of DQs and there were shenanigans going on with LFC 32, black and blue. But I think for you, you came out rocking the black, by the way. I got to put over this lingerie, folks, because you were looking stellar and doing your thing thing on the fight. front. I got to put that over. But also, <laughs> but also, but no, you were looking good as always. And you and Jolene also have that great chemistry. And I'll be honest with you, I love Jolene to death. But Jolene is one who's kind of the, the stir of the pot, the instigator, if you will. And that's, yes. It's Jolene. I, I mean... Don't get me wrong. She, I, I, I love Jolene. Yep. We, we've always been good for the most part. Um, but it was just, there's certain times when she just, she feels that, you know, she could do whatever she wants, when she wants, how she wants, and doesn't really work that way. So it just got to a point where she wouldn't listen. She wouldn't do what I told her not to do. Um, you know, so it, some people you have to just teach them a lesson. 
As you do. And I mean, speaking of teaching a lesson here, my God, this woman has been in LFC for her third fight. It was a rematch from LFC 36 booty camp for Sheena, the Hungarian bath, Hungarian hurricane Bathory and Bella Madison, rebel princess herself. Sheena gets the win. Unanimous decision. We both went back and forth, split decision action. And then boom, she's yelling, blaming everybody. She got in your face. Miss Holly May, she got in your face. Let's talk mm -hmm. about this because Bella Madison was not happy with that verdict, that ruling at the end of her bout with Sheena. Yeah, um, I wanted to punch her in the face. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I get, I get it. Heat of the moment. You don't really know what's going on or what's happening. You just kind of go with your gut. Um, so I, before I could even do anything to her after the fact, um, she did come and apologize and like. She mentioned that, you know, look, I'm sorry. I know I wasn't supposed to, you know, do what I did and put my hands on you or whatever. But it was just, like I said, she, it was in the heat of the moment. And, you know, she did apologize. So I told her, like, I'm going to let that one slide. But <laughs> not the next time, if there's even a next time. Well, I mean, for someone who's been, like, we talk about three fights in her, Sheena, uh, we look at someone like Shaylin, look at Bella Rockefeller, and now we saw the debuts of Ziva Faye and Ruby the Booty Vuitton and the return of Danica De La Rouge. LFC has become such a hotspot for a return for newcomers all around. I think it's great to see the LFC landscape and where we are now, Press. Mm. Um, I mean, it's always good to bring back, you know, fighters from before, um, newcomers, they're we always have newcomers. So that's always been a thing, but I mean, we're growing at such a rate that we have too many girls. <laughs> we have too many fighters. So I have to rotate everybody in. So it's not that I don't want everybody there, but I don't, I only have enough room for so many, you know, matches at each event. So um, I would have to just, I try to just rotate everybody in and, you know, the ones that win obviously come back around, you know, they come for the next one. Um, and then, you know, if they did good on a previous fight, I try to bring them back. So, you know, I can build them up even more, but I can only have so many fighters at each one. So, you know, I, I just have to swap everybody around as, you know, and try to get everybody some time in as, you know, if and when I can. Right. And I think you do a great job, especially with the pressures that you are under. But God dang, man, we have someone like Holly Dunaway, the ball boxing hall of famer right here. You know, yeah. she did her thing with Bella Rockefeller in one of the most interesting fights, knocked her out from her knees. Looking at someone like Holly Dunaway, that is big get for LFC, especially with Kira Batara in the semi main against Terry Feisty Vis London. We got fighters coming from all around the Bellator world. The pro I know. It's beautiful. I know. I mean, we try to bring in a mix from different, you know, different parts of the world, different, you know, avenues of the fight world. And we just try to be open to anyone and everything out there. So we're, we're just a big mixing pot. <laughs> I think that's what makes LFC a little bit of MMA, a little bit of wrestling, and a little bit of a cool. little bit of everything. everything. <laughs> it took the words right out of my mouth. I love you for that. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> but no, that's the thing. It, it's so true. And I mean, for you, I'm going to say this right now. I also got to backtrack this there just for a second, because not only, folks, was Holly doing her thing back in the ring. It was great to hear you on commentary for the first time. <laughs> I don't know if everybody wanted to hear what I had to say. <laughs> It was interesting, though. I got to say, for your first commentary duties, if you will, I like. Yeah, it. I thought you very. It was fun. It was really fun. Um, I, I I enjoyed, you know, but at the same time, I I was I didn't realize how how much I had to cuss. <laughs> no, not had to cuss, but how much it came out. It was just I've never been recorded as I'm viewing, you know. <laughs> viewing the fights but um it was fun nonetheless but um yeah it was just some a lot of unexpected you know stuff came up and it was just you know just like any person would react like oh shit oh what the fuck whoa wow you know you just it you know it was just coming out <laughs> 
Well, first and foremost, I think the bluntness and just the overall genuine reaction, I think, made it. But also, I kind of look at it from a stance like this. If Tony Montana can say the F word 182 times in Scarface, I think you might have almost topped him by a little smidge with those curses. Man. <laughs> like, I dug it. I dug it. You did your thing. <laughs> you know, I mean, it wasn't intentional. It just it came out. <laughs> <laughs> Which I got to say, speaking of coming out, man, from LFC, we've had amazing events at the FSW Arena, Future Star Wrestling for Las Vegas there. Man, Booty Camp has become one of the traditions of seeing new stars, the LFC veterans and the prospects, two integral ones. One, I'll start with the one, first of all, that I got to meet your lovely self in person, which is always a pleasure and a privilege. But also just to see the amazing signs, do my ring announcing thing. But one of the big integral parts of LFC 35 Booty Camp 3D was the unveiling of Jenny Bloody Valentine, who was on the black team, taking the spot of La Scorpia, who was unable to make it against Volcana, Lucha Lingerie. What an amazing main event and turn of events at that event. I know. Mm. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Go ahead. Like, drama. I'm telling you. Drama. <laughs> it, it never fails. There's always something that happens and I'm like, what the... <laughs> But that's the thing. Well, do you even remember, like, when first of all, it was Leon's birthday on Halloween, folks? So we're doing this big presentation. Bella Rockefeller is dressed like Marilyn Monroe singing Happy Birthday to Leon. Mm -hmm. Audrey gets in the ring, one of your, I know, teaching her a lesson as a coach, but Audrey's over here attacking everybody, including Leon. Uh, cakes everywhere. You gave me a look. Yeah, I, I remember because I actually had a cute outfit on and it got covered in cake. I know uh, I was in the corner and you gave me a look and I'm like, I didn't have anything to do with this. I'm just chilling <laughs> like over here. You looked at me like you were going to kill me. I got the death stare from you. That infamous Ali, the Lotus made death stare, Ali. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I have a death stare. <laughs> got a little bit of it, man. I got to say it was cold blooded. I felt like Rick James up in there. It was a little cold blooded, man. Uh, no, yeah. I, I remember. I think that must have been. I don't know which one it was, but my, you know, my son is one of the the he's he's done different parts for lfc and he was security at one point he was the timekeeper at one point and before we even started one of the lfcs he uh i don't know something happened and i i had to yell i had to like yell and tell everyone to shut the fuck up <laughs> i don't recall what it was about, when it was. But um, at one point, I went in the back to check on the girls. And my son thought that, um, well, he heard my voice. He heard my my mom voice come out. And he's like, he got scared. And mind you, my, my son is a grown man. And, you know, <laughs> hearing my voice, it's like, oh, my God, he thought he was in trouble. Some of the girls thought that, you know, like they, they got a little scared, too. But sometimes it's like I feel like a mom and all the girls are my kids. Like, Jesus. Well, first, a lot. No, well, first and foremost, as someone who has a mother like yourself, I, I can attest to that. <laughs> you know, I'm a grown man. But once you hear that yell at your mom, I get yeah, it. Yeah, the mom voice. <laughs> yep, I get it. Uh, I mean, but no, I think I know what you're, what you're talking about. That might have been the second booty camp because there was a lot of, as as Holly said, it's so perfectly here, drama when it comes to these LFC events. That was never the, fails. There's never always fails. something. And that was the one where Jenny and uh, Veronica the Va uh, Payne was in their VP, who was also at LFC Booty Camp 3D against Lauren Ceccarelli. That was the one where Trap Gambino got involved and there was chaos and ruckus all up in there. So I think it might have been that one, the second. Oh, you! Oh, was it the one where at the judges table? Yep, that one. Was that the one? Yeah. Oh, fuck. See? <laughs> Drama, folks. That that's. I I know it never fails. I I can count on something. You know, maybe that I should start doing that. Start doing like a little contest. What do you think is going to happen at this one? What do right. you think is going to happen at the next one? And then whoever guesses it is going to get a prize. I don't know what the prize is yet. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, I think it's what's something. <laughs> that's the great thing about the LFC environment is we're all one big happy family, dysfunctional family, but a happy family in them. You know, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> it works it does and i mean coming off of everything that we've seen there not only do we see highly featured in lfc but you were also featured in some amazing drawings by the one and only mr tommy bell it comforts you and yes. drawings and your own personal. i comfort. love them i love them he's even done personal stuff for me um and um 
other family members. So it, I love his work. I love his work. And, and he's always managed to have them delivered just in time. <laughs> I think that's what great that's what's so great about Tommy Bell's our precision to his work and just getting things ready for you. And I think what I love about it too as well, he did the artwork for this podcast. He's done so many great works outside of the LFC auspices. But when you have that fine key, that fine eye, if you will, to the drawing, putting that pen to paper, painting that canvas, so to speak, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. Um I, I love his work and yeah, didn't he do one of you in the middle of the girls too? Yeah, that was for this podcast, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Thank you. I was like, oh, wow, look. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only one we need left is because he's done the prez, he's done the podcast host. Now we got to just get the coaches in there. We got Audrey, got Leon, and the whole nine. Yep. Hmm. I wonder if he's done one of Sean. Putting it out there, manifesting into the universe. Do it of Sean Donnelly. Yes. There you go. Boom. Tommy, one, there's got to be a drawing of Sean with the girls or the coaches, or whoever. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, there's that old school photo that we always use. It's Sean with Jolene and old school Feather Haddon taking it back, Feather the Hammer Haddon, hello. So there's one that to work off of. Boom. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that one. But that's so long ago, like, he needs he needs a new one. Yeah, there you go. But, yeah, no, <laughs> definitely that's – you're just putting the drawings and the manifestation out there. I love it, Holly. But <laughs> That's the great part of LFC, the drawings and just the pageantry and the spectacle. Now, what's also great about two folks is not only do we get to see Holly up close and personal, but behind the scenes, man, one of the things I always love because it's still hanging in my office here, we have the LFC calendar. You got to take part in the very like sensual, the rose petals and just the tub really get to encompass yourself from the calendar photo shoot side of things. So I wanted to ask you about the calendar as well, because my God, woman, you did your thing in the LFC calendars, which is also an integral part of LFC. Yeah, I'm mad I wasn't in the last one, though. <laughs> well, you can say you were still in one. I mean, come on now. No, uh, you're talking about the one with the pets? Yeah. No, that, the no. one earlier before that. I'm sorry. The one with the, when you were in, like, I think that was, like, a couple of years ago. You did the Yeah, the one. I was in two of them. <laughs> so, of course, people were like, oh, you're in two. I'm like, well, it's not like it was my month calendar, you know. <laughs> so... But um, yeah, there was one with the casket <laughs> and then there was one with the, the race, the, the two racing cars. Yep, those. And I mean, like, I think what was great about those two as well and what I love about the calendars, it just really showcases just the side of things from the merchandise standpoint and just in general. The photo shoots really come out well. And I think you did that and all the LFC girls looked amazing in that. I mean, everything, like, I mean, it wasn't all just me, you know, it's everybody working to, to make sure that everything for LFC works great. So, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit of everybody. Right. And I mean, for instance, I mean, everybody that did this event, speaking of LFC 37, like it was great to see Selena and Katie back because going from where they were at LFC 31 booty camp to mind you still during COVID time, there was not a lot of people, just the staff and crew, everybody there. And they got to perform this time in front of people and they delivered in that main event. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone always, you know, it's always a chaos trying to get everything together, but once it's all said and done, you would never have thought all the 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 BS and drama that went on behind the scenes, right. you know, just to make sure that the show goes on. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think what I also love about it, too, here, Holly, is like even during the COVID time, like going from Sturgis just onward from that standpoint, it's a tough time for everybody. But I mean, if we could bring smiles to people's faces and entertain us only as LFC can do, I think that brought a lot during the COVID time for people that were going through it, but also at the same time, we all need that positivity, if you will. So I think LFC brought that. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if it wasn't for the people that deal with LFC behind the scenes, behind the camera, it a lot of this wouldn't be here. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And no, that's the beautiful part about it. And I always say this about Lingerie Fighting Championships, folks. It's amazing women such as Holly the Lotus May, such as a Jolene the Valkyrie Hex, everybody past, present, and future really showcases, shows up, shows out, and do as only as LFC can do. And I'm going to say this, Miss Holly the Lotus May, you are one of my favorites, and I'm so glad we got to do this for the 200th episode of the podcast. You're always such a I know. I can't believe it's already been 200. 
Hey, well, you were on during the audio stages, so now we get to see your lovely face on video. Yes, I remember um, yes. doing the the very first ones. Yes, so, but I I, I remember <laughs> I had to go in the garage just to get away from the kids, so they wouldn't, you know, be in the background noise just to get away from them because they're everywhere. <laughs> Hey, well, that's the beautiful thing, folks. It's parenting. It's the children being the extension of the parent. It's a beautiful thing, though. Family can't beat it, right? Yeah. No, I mean, but my kids are older now, so it's a lot different. But back then, I mean, Jesus, I started with LFC back in 2014. Right. It early. was now 23. Yep. So, you know, that's quite some years that my <laughs> my kids have grown. So now they actually listen when I tell them, go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they actually can listen otherwise you'd be hearing me close the door shut up i'm doing something leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> oh man well speaking of that i gotta bring this up because lfc 36 booty camp for your daughter was the referee for that event and i gotta say did her thing it was it, it started out a little rocky but she got through and i gotta say she put on a hell of a show as we all did at yeah. the it was great to meet uh, her well. uh, i was um i don't know who told who but um i know sean mentioned to me that they were getting requests about who the ref was i was like don't worry about who the ref is <laughs> she's not doing anything else but refing stay away from my daughter <laughs> so maybe maybe she could be a ring girl next time i don't know <laughs> putting that out there but no i i think what's, I think what was so great about it and like i said every it's a process going through it it's being the best representation of your presentation and she showed up and showed out and for those who have not seen lfc 36 booty camp four i gotta ask you once more about jolene she's jolene three belts over here she's got the booty camp champ chain she's got the european title she's got the world title oh my god all on jolene yeah. all eyes on her uh i mean i i don't control it it is what it is you know what can i do Right. But no, that that's the beautiful part of LFC and seeing everybody just shine just to Ritter at that point. But I got to say with LFC, even 36, we saw Angelica Cole come all the way out from Italy. Jolene and Jenny stole it in the main event. Like I got to say once more, like the booty camp events bring so many new prospects, especially with LFC 37. Yeah. And LFC 38 and it, to come. No, no, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say with LFC 38 to come, I think just the, uh, the sky's the limit and anything is possible. Like I said, the endless possibilities. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I know. No, I mean, it's just so many girls, you know, they, they want to be in booty camp, but there's only room for so many, you know, and it, it, I know at one point, Sean and I talked about having, well, that's why, you know, now there's, um, we had the, the original black and pink. Now there's blue. And then now we have just the booty camp fights and, it's like eventually we're going to have to have more and more just to keep up with the amount of girls that are trying out and trying to be in, you know, LFC. And I mean, it's a good problem to have. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but Jesus, I'm going to need two of me to, <laughs> to run all these fights and events. Well, I mean, like I said, it's, it's the pressures of doing the job, but I think you do the job in amazing fashion, Miss Holly May. And I think as I well, try, I try, trust me. <laughs> you do, you do. Truth is truth. Facts is facts. But not only do you do that, folks, LFC CBD cream. We got to talk about this because I've seen the before and actor that uh, really works. I like it. I dig it. Yes. Um. So back just before when the pandemic started, um, uh, you know, uh, I was tired of all the pain meds that I take, the muscle relaxers that they give me. I just hate the drugged up feeling. And so I, I started to experiment with the different CBD creams. And I kid you not, I have not taken any meds, any prescribed medications since I started making the oils, the creams. And some people have even taken, I've made um, ingestible tinctures where, you know, people would rather drink it than 
you know, um, rub it on anything. But anything from migraines to body aches, muscle aches. Um, I've even used it on a sunburn. Um, I think I showed you the before and after of the sunburn. I came back from Lake Mead. I was in the sun maybe like 15, 20 minutes. And I came home that night, my back, tomato red. I rubbed that cream all over my back. By Monday morning, that was when I did the after picture. I had no peelings, no pain. You know, typically when you have a, a sunburn, you can't even like, it, it hurts to touch it. Like it stings, it burns. I did not feel any burning. I didn't have any peeling, nothing. Even I was like amazed at myself. <laughs> um, and recently I made a new blend of oil for my daughter and she's, you know, it's Vegas. Everybody has dry skin. And at first I thought maybe it was eczema or something, but I've taken her to different, you know, dermatologists and some have said one or the other and referred whatever creams and ointments, nothing has worked. And so um, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, um, I made a special blend just for her. And I told her here, try this, just, you know, shower and rub it on your body like you would lotion. I didn't even know she would actually use it, you know, cause she's a kid. So yeah, I buy her stuff and she's like, okay, mom. Okay. And it wasn't until maybe like two weeks after I gave her the stuff, she was like, mom, I don't have any more. I'm out. I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't even know you were actually using it. <laughs> so I looked at her skin and I sent you the before and after of her skin as well. And I was surprised at that. I was like, what the hell just happened? Um, like even I surprised myself with the stuff I'm making. Um, I actually use it as a moisturizer. <laughs> she uses it for her skin. And I mean, her skin has cleared up so bad. Like it, it was bad and it's cleared up so good now that you never would have thought she had the dry skin. Like, you know, when you scratch so hard, it it breaks skin. Oh, yeah. So it, it felt like a sandpaper kind of like feeling her skin was so rough from scratching and now it's like smooth to where she just wears shorts everywhere now before she used to hide her skin because from all the scratches the scratch marks and now she's just wearing shorts everywhere <laughs> so I, I it's helped a lot of people there's a lady that orders the oil uh, the cream um and she uses it when you know she had um chemo treatment and when she gets the pins and needles feeling on her feet, I forgot what the actual term is for that. Um, but that's what she uses. She uses the cream to rub on her feet to help with the pain. And, you know, it's just so many different things that people have used the creams and the oils for that. I'm just like, wow, I'm glad that it's helping others. So, you know, you want to try it. You know, anyone that want to try it, let me know, <laughs> because it really has done some wonders. And like I said, 2019, 2023, I I want to say the only time I use any, um, I use, I think they gave me ibuprofen or I don't know what it was. I had some, I had a tooth pulled. <laughs> that was the only time I took any pain meds that that, that, that oil and cream wasn't going to help, you know. Oh. I got to say, first and foremost, the fact that, well, first of all, as, as someone who's had <laughs> got anything dental work done, especially tooth, pill, I, I get it. I absolutely. Yeah, it was like the very back tooth. I don't have any molars. They never came out. My molars are still under. So it was like the tooth next to the molar. Oh, so it was a huge freaking sucker. <laughs> I was like, get it out. <laughs> so that was the only time that I have taken any pain meds since I started using my creams and my oils. And it's goodness. I, I use it for migraines. I use it for anything and everything. Like my kids, my son is a wrestler. 
and a jujitsu instructor, he uses my oil. My daughter is a football player. She uses my oil, um, the cream. So, you know, it, it just has worked wonders. And I, I wish more people could, you know, could try it out and use it. Seriously, it works. Not because I'm just tooting my own horn, but I've amazed myself. And just recently, my my niece, actually, I didn't know she had bad eczema. And I, I let her have some of it to try it out. And within a month, I have like three different before, during, after pictures. And it's cleared up. Her mom has been like, she doesn't even scratch anymore. That's how good it is. So, and I don't know if you know people with eczema, they're just forever scratching, especially in this weather, in this Vegas heat. It's ridiculous. So. Well, I will. <sighs> well, I will say this. If y'all want to get some of this cream, the LFC CBD cream, hit up Holly May on Instagram. Check out the Instagram post of it, because first of all, the before and afters are amazing. You'll see it in this very show with the images that will encompass it. But God dang, man, I'm very happy to see you doing that. And it's helping people. That is, that's what it's about at the end of the day, helping people and bringing everybody together. I love it. And um, just to add to that, uh, I know a lot of people, you know, they're kind of um, skeptical of CBD products because there was a news that was done some time ago that so many people are selling CBD stuff and it didn't even have anything. <laughs> so I make sure that every batch that I make is, you know, it is tested. So there is a certificate of analysis to show how much the potency level is for the CBD of each, you know, each batch that I make, just so people can see that it's legit. <laughs> there is stuff in it. And, you know, so, cause I know a lot of people will just, will sell stuff just to sell it and slap on whatever name they want on it just to get people to buy it. But, you know, I also provide the certificate just so people can see that, you know, it's the real deal. I love that so much. And folks, you guys can check out the CBD cream. That'll be in the link as well. So everybody can check out what you got going over on here, Miss Holly, the Lotus May. And besides that, what else we got going on? If you guys have not checked out the VIP section of LFCfights.com, Nite Boutique, Brandy May and Kim Buck, Andre Custom Fitting, you and many of the girls, such as Jolene the Valkyrie Hex, Bella Madison, Bella Rockefeller, the girls from Wear Hard Podcast. I'm talking about Ziva Faye. How awesome is that? Nite Boutique, man. Yeah, um, I have yet to see my my outfit. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. So I, I'm excited to see what they've made for me. And not that I would be prancing around at it anytime soon. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, I know the girls were excited to to see the stuff that you know, they've created for them. Um, it's always good to have a cute outfit that's very durable in the ring <laughs> because yeah, everyone knows I, when I fight, especially me, I don't want any oops, any, <laughs> I don't want any issues. I don't want any wa uh, wardrobe malfunction. I like my stuff to stay put. So if that's something that they can, Make sure that, you know, they incorporate when they make these outfits. That would be the best thing ever because, you know, I, I, I know a lot of stuff happens in our show, but we are still a PG show. <laughs> and I want to make sure that we hide all the girls' goodies as much as possible. Now I'm going to say, folks, here being the pop culture nerd that I am, Sierra once had a song, My Goodies, Not My Goodies, and I got to say a lot of goodies. <laughs> Sometimes does happen. It's, it's the name of the game. It's the territory, if you will. But yeah, I, I get it. But yeah. still, you know, know, you have to at least try to put an effort in covering things up. Some girls just don't even try to put anything on. Well, well when you put I know it's lingerie fighting, but Jesus, it's not invisible lingerie fighting. 
I think when you put it like you don't want to have that oops is even better about it because I think that's the most bluntest of terms again, but also at the same time, yes, I completely understand where you're coming. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> just saying, like, we want to see the fights, not just guys staring at, you know, whatever's hanging out. I mean, I'm sure they're doing both, but <laughs> it should be more in the fights. <laughs> yes, agreed wholeheartedly. And I think that's what's the beauty and the variety of LFC lingerie fighting championships. And I got to say this, Prez, before we close this out, first and foremost, we will definitely do another one of these in the near future. I'm so happy we got to do this tonight. Right. You're always such a delight. And Folks, this is one of the OGs of LFC right here. And from your inception here in LFC to now, it's such great to see your journey and just see your progression, Holly. I know. I, I've surprised myself with all different, you know, parts of LFC I've dealt with. And it's, it, man, just thinking back, I was, I was really trying to see who's really been around since the beginning. And um, I can't think. I mean, I everyone else has kind of come, you know, along the way, mm -hmm. but I I really can't think of anyone that was from the beginning, like when I first fought. Right. I mean, Jolene did come a little bit later after you, but I mean, yeah. That's the thing. It's it's very hard to think about. But yeah, like I think you're one of the remaining OGs. And I think it, it's a who's who. Of I think I'm the only OG. Yes. No, no. You're actually correct on that. Yes, I think you are. the. I, only. I was thinking about that because I was like, well, Desi's gone. Cats. Yep. Oh, hold on. God dang it. Um, My phone. I keep hitting my phone. It's all good. Um, Desi's gone. Cats gone. Andrea's retired. Yep. Well, she's not even from the original. Serena's gone. The old Prez is gone. Yep. Feather's gone. Yep. I don't. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't. I, I think I'm the only one. Yeah, I, think... I don't even know what match that was. LF, I don't even know what LFC that was. Oh, God. That got, it's got to be like LFC 19. I, I want to say 19, 18 and 19. I yeah. don't know why 19 is ringing a bell. But. It, this was 2014 at Jerry's, no, Silver Nugget, not Jerry's Nugget, Silver Nugget. Jerry's Nugget, okay. So Yeah, no, not Jerry's Nugget, Silver Nugget. Silver Nuggets, okay. I think it was LFC 19, yeah, you and, you and Feather for the title. I think you're correct on that, yep. Yes, that was the title fight with Feather, and I really don't recall. I know Serena... Serena was there. She hasn't. She, she hasn't come back. Yeah. Um. The old Prez. That was their match. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you when you look I, at when you look at it, it's like really where does the time go, right? Like, because it, it seems like yesterday, but everything just yeah, it doesn't even seem like it's been that long. Jesus, right? Twenty fourteen. 2014, baby. Yeah, because I remember I came along in 2019. Yeah, so I've been doing this for four years now. So yeah, I came along later, later, later. But I got to say, it's a hell of a team yeah. to be a part of. But no, yes. you're right. Serena's last fight, Serena Kyle, was uh, Daniel Cabal St. Pierre. And that was 2018, LFC 25. Yep. Yeah, that was Nice, California. No, that was the LFC 25. No, that was uh, that was Samstown, Las Vegas. Oh, no. The... So what you want? <laughs> But there was a, which one was, see, I, there's so many. I don't even remember. The one in Nice, California. I think that was LFC 21 or 22. I think I it, don't know. You know better than I do. Like, there's so many. I there don't is. even remember. It's got to be like <laughs> LFC 21 or 22 because that was the one where we had a, uh, yeah, the, no, 22 was the one I think with, no, 21, excuse me, was Serena and Maxine and Serena and Mac to the rematch. I know I, they had the rematch. Yes, that I think was LFC 23, Guilty Pleasures. That was where Monica won the title from Shay. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yes. I just know we've traveled different places. Um, Man, we've we've come a long way. That was Four Bears in Nice, California. Mm -hmm. Um, There was, oh my God, I think the worst venue we've ever had. Never again. 
um, Kansas City. That was LFC 23 where Monica won the title. Yep. Guilty pleasures, baby. Guilty no. pleasures. Fuck. Oh, man. That was the worst place ever. <laughs> Never, ever again. They Ooh. didn't have AC in that venue. You could hear the fucking train going every so-and-so. It was the worst. Never again. That was the one where you fought Andrea. Yep, I remember mm-hmm. that one. I fought Andrea that one. Yep. But... Oh. Man, that place was the worst. How do you really feel about it, Holly? <laughs> oh, that's I hate how I feel about it. Oh, but no, that's that's hilarious. But no, that was I, I can tell. If you guys watch it on LFCfights.com, very I can tell it's like very hot in there, very kind of like mm, like this, the kind of like Graham. I get it. I get it. Yeah. No, I, I mean everything was like it they had one of those big industrial fans. Yeah. That's like, that's the only air that we had. I, yeah. I, now that you brought that up in that vicinity, I remember watching that. Yep. You, you can see it. I recall. Yeah. And then the back doors were open and the back side of the building was the train tracks. So you can hear the train, you know, coming by every so-and-so. Johnny Cash over here. I hear a train to come. It's coming around the bend. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, it was not not cool. Not the best time. And I want to say that's the one where I threw I I hit I hit what uh, uh damn, what is his name? The coach. Joel. Joel in the pool. <laughs> okay. That is become That a... was, I think that was the one where I slapped him in I, I like I pushed him into the pool, but like to where he had like handprints on his chest. That has become a staple of LFC lore here. It's just throwing. Yeah, jokes. he's pissed everybody off that much. I think that's when he tried to trade me for the bucket of pucks. Yes, yes, it was. That's right. that, I think that was the time. Yep. Thanks for bringing back all these bad memories. Thank oh, well, you. Well, <laughs> well, well, let's not get into Eurobash. We could even tell that story if we're getting gay. <laughs> oh, that that's even worse. That's even because so, I never made it to Europe. No. Well, I made it to Europe, but I didn't make it to the fight. Yep. Fucking Europe. So, that was the worst three fucking days ever. Goddamn Slovakia. Yep. <laughs> yep. Goddamn Bratislava. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So hopefully, um, I I I don't know when we're gonna have another one out there. Well, I'll look into it. Well, let's get it on going, man. I can't wait to see what the future holds for LFC. I'm um, wait. I gotta say, next time. I mean, I know I'm sure we're gonna get a long shot of this, but I can't wait to see. Possibly, hopefully, nobody pisses you off again. That when you have to get into the ring again, ma'am. After friggin' Jolene, I don't think you want to have another one after that because my goodness, man. Like I'm saying, it's always drama. So, but like I said, you did your thing in Sturgis, but I don't think you're looking <laughs> for another. I don't think you're looking for another run anytime soon because you are the prez and you are you're holding it down for all of us. <laughs> I try to. I try, man. I try. <laughs> so if anybody, and which you should, by the way, check out Holly the Lotus May on LFCfights.com. All of her fights and all of her moments, especially throwing Joel in the pool, which is awesome. And many, many more LFC memories. Go to LFCfights.com and check out LFC. LFC underscore fights on Twitter. Fights underscore LFC on Instagram. LFC fights on TikTok. And Holly May, where can we follow you on the Instagram front? Uh, Holly May underscore the Lotus. I think I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold I on. Don't know. So if you want, I'm wanna, sure you know more than I do. <laughs> if you want to follow, the, that was great. If you want to follow the Prez on Instagram and check out some CBC creep <laughs> and check out some LFC moments and memories, baby, check out Holly <laughs> underscore the Lotus on Instagram. See. See? <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. knew it. Underscore something. <laughs> We're leaving it in. That was too good. That was too good. Holly, <laughs> Holly underscore. Like, just, just Google Holly May. Just Google Holly May. <laughs> It'll be in the description. Follow Holly on Instagram. She's a great follower. <laughs> so, 
Before we close this out, folks, if you have not checked out LFC 37 Back to the Mansion, get on that. Check out Niche Boutique. Check out LFC on Roku. If you got yourself a Roku, the Roku Network, LFC Network. It's got all the shows, got the podcast, the whole nine. Check us out coming soon to 2 TV for all your LFC events and miles along with his show, Mods and Bods. We in here, we all day, every day, it's LFC, folks. And before I close this out, Holly May, as I always say to end this show, <laughs> Beauty check the dominance, the three key elements that make women the work of art that they are, and Holly the Lotus May Prez. I include you in those sentiments. Thank you so much, as always, for your time. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> fight, fight, fight.